Hey y'all. I am Luna Ray, the gorgeous oracle. And I'm gonna do a random read. We're gonna see what messages uh spirit has for the collective for this random read. This is for all signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, North Node, hell, even Mars. <laughs> uh, this is, yeah, for all signs. I'm not going to take those. I'm going to take the first one that popped out, but I'm not going to take those. So I'm going to pull two more, two more cards. Y'all see? I'm going to pull this one, and I'm going to I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm going to pull that one. So for this random read, I have the Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, with Temperance at the bottom of the deck. I have Capricorn towards Virgo. Ah, shit, I got um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. When I was shuffling, I heard giving back to the community. Somebody wants to give back. Someone wants to do for other people or do for another person. It's something about maybe helping others in need or you could have been helping others in need. Doing for less fortunate people. Doing for the community. Somebody is like an empath, very empathic. Somebody gets emotional when they see like less fortunate people. I heard dying of hunger. Like somebody gets emotional when they feel like, like when they see like a homeless person or when they see like less fortunate people. Somebody gets real emotional. Somebody could be emotional. Somebody could make decisions based on their emotions or how they're feeling. I have the Five of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles, with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like somebody um, finances are decreasing, but they still try to give back or do for others with the little that they have. Meanwhile, it's like somebody on some save the world type shit or like, what can I do to help others? Meanwhile, I just feel like it's somebody still, I heard plotting on your downfall or wishing on your downfall. Even though it's like your mind is just somewhere else. You're not even, whoever this person is, you don't even care about this person. I heard you don't even know this person. You probably don't even know this person like that or you don't care for this person. I heard nobody. This person is a fucking nobody. Meanwhile, it's like somebody is just so focused on... Yes, yeah, like praying on your downfall or somebody had bad intentions for you. And it's like your focus is on like what can you do to better yourself, help, help others better themselves. Oh, shit, I heard help improve humanity. <laughs> like somebody 
could be like a, a humanitarian. Oh, I can't pronounce the word. Humanitarian. I think that's the word. I feel like somebody's on that type of time. Somebody's thinking like thinking of their community or worldwide or like what can I do to help others, inspire others, uplift others. Meanwhile, it's somebody like shit, what can I do to <laughs> um I heard make sure you don't blow up. As in like become like a public figure well known it's like somebody want to stop you before you blow up or whoever this is it, they they a hater period point blank period It's like through it all, collective, you could have been through some shit. Lies, betrayal, backstabbing, cheating, manipulating, fucking with narcissists, coming across narcissistic people through it all. It's like you've been hurt by so many people, but you still have like a big heart for people. If I look to the right, when I look off, um, being intuitive, you have to use your, your right brain. So when I get these downloads and I look to the, the right, because I'm operating on my right side of the brain. The left side is more like logical, what makes sense. So every time when I look off to the right, when I talk, then I stop. I pause because I'm getting downloads. <laughs> but um, I feel like people want to know why I look to the right when I talk. That's why. Or when I look off, that's the reason. But yeah, I just feel like you still have a heart to like do for others. Even though like I feel like a whole bunch of people like fucked over you throughout your life or something but you still didn't let those situations like stop you from having a big heart towards humanity or towards people towards the less fortunate or something like that that's what I'm picking up on I have the King of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. I do see there is a man, or it could be a woman. You have like a counterpart. One of these counterparts... When I think of you, they, I heard visionary. Like somebody has visions of y'all together. Somebody could watch you. And somebody wish that they can be a part of your life or a part of what you're doing. Like if you go to, I heard family events, parties and stuff. Somebody wish that they can be with you. It's something that you're posting online. If you're not posting, it's like word of mouth or y'all have like mutual friends or something. I heard wish you were here. Somebody wish that you were with them or somebody don't feel complete without you being with them. Meanwhile, it's like your your visions is like what can you do to help people? I have the ten of cups, 
the five of swords the queen of pentacles and the six of pentacles whoever this is this could be a past lover whoever's like wishing on your downfall the hater somebody because y'all gotta look at the cards came out like this it's like somebody purposely wanted to like rub something in your face or they wanted to like hurt your feelings about them like moving on or being with somebody else or hell even gotten somebody pregnant. This is another message. If uh whoever you've been separated from, if they got somebody pregnant, all this was planned like strategically done <laughs> to like hurt you that's a side message but the T is that I heard over time it's like now who I feel like it's the same person like now somebody went from like hating your guts and like want to hurt you and shit to now like they miss having you around. They want to be with you. It don't feel the same without you being here. Another message I'm getting. When this person goes to events. It's like they wish you were with them. Somebody feel like y'all compliment each other. Or y'all look good together. I heard color coordinate. Like, somebody has visions of y'all dressing alike and shit. The T is that y'all have a favorite color. Both It's both of y'all favorite colors, though. And somebody wish that y'all can wear y'all favorite colors together. And, like, family events, different events, travel. It's something like that here. It's like somebody had a change of heart about you, collective. It's like they went from trying to piss you off and make you jealous to, damn, I wish we can dress alike. I wish they can come with me to different events. We look good together. I would be honored to have them by my side. You and this person, y'all both emotional. Somebody pretend like they not emotional, but they are. Or both people pretend like they um, don't be in their feelings. Or both people pretend like they don't care about one another, but they really do. That's another message. But yeah, that's what I have for this random read. Oh, you know what? I keep always forgetting these cards. Spirit, give me additional messages for this random read. I told you it's like somebody went from I hate collective fuck collective fuck them to like now man I just want my bitch back man I just want my nigga back I just want my man back I want my girl back man they supposed to be with me man <laughs> I got message you could be hearing from this person. And I got privileged lady. Yeah, I feel like it's it has always been you. But somebody was on some shit like, man, fuck them. I can find better. I got better. Fuck collective. Fuck that bitch. 
fuck that nigga. And then it's like now somebody's realizing like, damn, Collective really is the one for me. Collective really help bring balance into my life. Another man, somebody is unstable. So it's like somebody, they unstable in their emotions. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's emotional. Like when they emotional, they do things without thinking. And when they're upset with you, another message I'm getting, somebody knows that it's you and it's always been you. But when they're upset with you, they pull back from you, right? And they portray like, yeah, what I'm what I'm supposed to be doing with you, I'm doing that with somebody else. Yeah. Ha ha. Yeah. But the T is that all this is like an illusion because it may look like these people are like a happy family or a happy couple. But the T is that all this is built on on a um, false foundation anyway because it, it was done purposely to like hurt you or something. This is when this person's in their emotions. I heard rage. You make somebody so angry to where they... It's like somebody... Ah! Like you make them so angry to where they scream. They could like punch out a window. If they haven't punched out a window or punched out a wall, that's just how much um, you make this person angry to where... They want to punch the window, punch the wall. Shit, they even want to punch you. Like, you make them so angry. Another message I'm getting, the reason why this person is so angry at you at times because I heard you don't listen. You don't listen or it's like they can't control you. It's something about you that they can't do, but they can do with other people. Yeah, I heard narcissistic rage. This person could have, like, narcissistic tendencies and stuff. And it's like this person gets upset here and there with, like, other people or other things. But when it's with you or if it has something to do with you, it turns into, like, a narcissistic rage to where somebody could, like, Fuck up their own house, throw shit everywhere, just like throw stuff around, punch out windows, punch the walls, put holes in the walls. Like that's how much you get under this person's skin. But some more tea is that don't nobody else get under this skin under this person's skin like you. Another message, you know how to push this person's buttons or you know what to say to this person to make them tick. And it doesn't take much for this person to tick. I don't know if you know this about your person already, but whatever you do, whatever you say, I heard the secret weapon or the le lethal weapon. Don't nobody else uh, has this lethal weapon <laughs> or... um. Yeah, it's like how you make this person feel. Nobody ever, I heard ever in life, make this person so angry. But when it comes to you, it's like somebody want to, ah! like you drive this person, you drive this person crazy to where it's like they can't tame themselves or they can't, um, uh, it's like somebody lose self-control when it comes to you to where they end up making so many irrational decisions because they're so angry another message i'm getting usually when this person make decisions should be thought out should be planned somebody knows what they're doing I heard, but in the heat of the moment, you can say something to this person or you can trigger this person. Another message I'm getting, you trigger this person. I don't know if you call out their insecurities or it's something that you do to this person that nobody else does or nobody else can do. 
But with you collective, it happens when y'all argue. I feel like you say some of the most hurtful shit or you make this person feel so low or so bad about themselves to where for them to build themselves back up, that's when they go find like another person, another message. Your person collective, they like talking to people that don't nobody know or um, that these people would not know nothing about your person. Because it would be easy for them to like control, manipulate, I heard dominate them. Because these new people would be so clueless. Like they don't know that your ex is like really a scumbag or something. But you collective, I feel like you know this person off the back of your hand. I feel like you know all their tricks and schemes. And you can point out like every time they trying to do something. And when they get caught or when you say something about their behavior, it's like somebody go batshit crazy. Ah! Like this person is really crazy. But they always, the thing is, this person know they're crazy, but they got away with it for so long because they haven't met nobody like you that brings the craziness out of them, right? So, like I said, I don't know what you're doing. It could be simple shit like just ignoring them or ghosting them or you, like, poking at their insecurities or the things that they do i don't know what you do but it's like when you do that keep doing it it's like this person fall in love with you even more when you talk shit to them i feel like you talk shit to them but you like say the most hurtful shit I don't know what look, I don't know what you say, okay? But it's like you you keep this person off balance to where cause they on some shit like oh, nobody's ever talked to me that way. Nobody's ever said that to me, or nobody ever did that to me. Nobody ever treated me that way. I'ma get them. I'ma get that bitch. I'ma get that nigga. I'm going to get them. I hate them. Oh, oh, oh. But the T is that they acting like that in the heat of the moment. But once they calm down, it's like somebody like, I really love them. I feel like they get mellow too. Hmm. I really love them. But it's like... <laughs> This is so funny. Bitch, what I just told, what I tell y'all, I have false person at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so it's like, this person be quick to run to other people because they have like a persona or um, it's like they try to bring their best self forward and they like to talk to like lame people or that people um, don't know this person because they're able to get away with the bullshit or, you know, they able to get away with being fake and shit or they able to get away with, yeah. Um, I'm in a new relationship now. Yeah, my bitch from out of town. Or he's from out of town. And just know it's strategically done because if that person was in town, was from the same town, or if y'all like, if these people had like mutual friends and shit, then somebody would not like, man, you only using me to get back at your ex and stuff. But if, uh, if your person was dating somebody out of town or this person like lame as fuck and don't nobody know them, they look so corny and stuff like that. It's like they're able to carry out their agenda by like showing this person off like, yeah, this might... 
yeah, this is my new, my new boyfriend, my new girlfriend, y'all, yeah. And then I heard the family and friends. It's like nobody just knows this person. So they're able to, yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for collective. I found me somebody new. Ah. But the whole time, all this is like strategically done. <laughs> like, false person. And then if this, if they person know about you, collective, it's easy for this person to say, man, my ex is so crazy and bitter over me and they won't uh, move on. And since this person's so lame and corny and don't nobody know them and like say if this person is from out of town, it's like they don't have any proof just but to go by what your person is telling them. So... That person is like, man, yeah, fuck your ex. He just crazy or she just crazy. They need to leave you alone. You're with me now. And your ex collective, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. They need to leave me alone. And then the whole time, the new person not liking you and shit, but it's like the new person don't know like who to talk they don't have friends and stuff right so it's like they can't fact check like everything your person is saying because since they so lame and corny they can just only go by what your person is telling them so your person yeah I, they just they so obsessed with me and when i was with them i was a good boyfriend or a good lover to them and i them and got them anything and everything they want i was getting ready to move them into a house that i got built um no i was getting ready to get built like your your person on feel it's like they they lie so fucking much to where the new person that's lame and corny don't nobody know them they're gonna they gonna believe everything your person is saying like wow he was gonna really get her a house built and she was really t uh doing for him and buying him nice things and all this is just lies <laughs> lies 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 but the point i'm trying to make is all this is like strategically done because your person always be mad at you to where it, it becomes like a rage right <laughs> i could talk this sound like my ex because he does shit like this okay but um <laughs> That's all I have for this reading collective. Thank you. Bye-bye.